Okay, so let's move on to the chapter number five, next generation WLAN solution. All right, so let's move on to the last chapter, next generation WLAN solution. So Huawei WLAN solution meet the future wireless uh, network construction requirement. So why choose uh, Huawei WLAN? Huawei WLAN apply to all scenario. Okay, use scenario-based customized solution for complex and diversified application scenario, complete WLAN deployment and management solution for campus and the branch network. You can see that nowadays we always uh, use uh, wireless, so it's become more important for you to deploy wireless solution. And uh, we have a high bandwidth on the WLAN. Uh, right now we are using the 802.11 AC. As of now, we also have this uh, 802.11 AX, which is the Wi-Fi 6. And, uh, the speed in theory they can go up to 9.6 gigabit per second so that is a very high bandwidth so huawei also support roaming and multiple wireless qos such as the wi-fi multimedia or wmm to ensure qos then the huawei wlan also have high security they can support all these uh, encryption wpa wpa2 WPA3 and WAPI. So they have also uh, wireless intrusion detection. Uh, this is depend on the AP model that you select. Okay, and uh, some of the uh, AP do have this uh, intrusion detection capability. They also have this uh, user authentication that I mentioned using the web authentication. Last but not least, Huawei AP is easy to deploy. We can actually use the plug and play, automatic upgrade, automatic channel, a selection which is important to reduce the interference dynamic rate and power adjustment and load balancing more important they also can support uh, iot if you look into certain model of huawei ap they have this uh, bluetooth zigbee uh, incorporate in their uh, ap okay so this is in the antenna so ap support cloud management this is also important because we can use uh, the controller not only on premise but we also can do the AC in the cloud. Okay, so these are the benefit of using uh, Huawei WLAN solution. As mentioned, we are looking into the Wi-Fi 6, which is 802.11 AX. So Wi-Fi standard are upgrade every four to five years. So this is the timeline. So right now we are here and uh, you can see that more and more application are using the greater bandwidth. So you, you can see that the bandwidth per user as of now, it can be more than 50 megabit per second because of the uh, 4K video, uh, 3D diagnostic, or interactive virtual reality or augmented reality. So as compared to uh, yesteryear, you can see that the demand for Wi-Fi are actually getting larger and larger. So it's very important for you to uh, move into the Wi-Fi 6. So what's the difference between the Wi-Fi 6 versus Wi-Fi 5. Wi-Fi 5 is the AC or AC Wave 2. Now these are the technology that uh, they deploy but uh, the benefit is that first we have a high bandwidth and the technology that enable that is they are using the 1024 QAM with 8 times 8 multi-user, multi-in, multi-out. Theoretically we can go up to 9.6 gigabit per second which is 4 times increase in bandwidth using this technology. Second, Wi-Fi 6 have high concurrency rate, meaning that they can have more user in the one AP at any time. So they can do upload and download OFDMA and uh, upload download using MU MIMO. Uh, in the layman terms, you can see that they can have up to 1024 STA per AP, which is four times compared to Wi-Fi 5. And Wi-Fi 6 have a low latency because of the OFDMA spatial reuse and the latency has reduced to 20 milliseconds with the reduce up to 30 percent and finally uh, Wi-Fi 6 also support low power consumption which is the uh, target wake up time TWT uh, 20 megahertz only so during idle they can actually reduce power up to 30 percent because they actually reduce the CPU cycle during idle time so these are the benefit of using Wi-Fi 6 versus Wi-Fi 5
Now, while we have another very compelling technology, we call that as an intent-driven campus. So here, the difference is that they are using the iMaster NCE. This is a controller. In this topology, you can see that we have our STA, we can have our Cloud AP. Uh, the rest here is the same, the switch and the egress gateway. You can see that on the branch, we also have the Cloud AP. So what is a Cloud AP? The Cloud Management Platform allow centralized management and maintenance of devices at any place greatly reduce network deployment and O&M. So administrators do not need to be in the premise. They can be anywhere around the world as long as you have internet connectivity. So it can be used for small, medium uh, size. You can actually look into the cloud AP. So the advantages compared to AC plus the Fit AP, plug and play automatically deployment reduce the network uh, cost. So you can send this AP to your remote uh, branch and then just ask them to connect to the switch. As long as they have internet connectivity, they were able to control this uh, AP. So all network element or NE are monitored and managed on the cloud management platform in a unified manner and cloud solution usually provide various tools on the cloud, hence it reduces the cost. So this iMaster NCE is in the internet. If let's say you are not a small size, but it's a medium to large size, you can have the iMaster NCE on the premise. Here we have a very large site and uh, we have our native AC. The native AC is the uh, AC inside the switch. We can have the 12700 or S7700. They are capable on running the native AC. And we can use the iMaster NCE to control this AC. So what's the benefit of using uh, this uh, iMaster on-premise? Let's look into the characteristic. iMaster NCE manages and configures AP in a unified manner and provide various functions by further integrating with wire network and leveraging big data and AI technology or artificial intelligence. This architecture implements simplified intelligent and secure campus network. So which means that the iMaster are able to diagnose the problem, even the problem is going to cause major disruption because they are using a big data and AI. So the scope is for medium and large size enterprise. As summary, wireless LAN technology allows users to easily access a wireless network and freely move around within the coverage of wireless network, eliminating the constraint of wire uh, network. Okay, so uh, we have the freedom to roam around and we do not need to tie down with a wire. In this course, we have learned WLAN technology on enterprise network, including basic concept, fundamental network architectural configuration, and the development trend of a WLAN technology. So I urge all the viewers to really look into WLAN because WLAN is definitely something that we are going to use in our daily life. So if you are the support or the administrator, the knowledge of WLAN is very important. Thank you for viewing this module. I'm going to see you on the next module. Thank you. Bye-bye.